20,000 seizures. That's how many my son has had since we did last year's Cannonball for the Cure charity stream. Most people don't even have a single seizure in their entire life, yet in the five short years that our son has been around, he has had close to 100,000 in total. And that is because he has a rare genetic disorder known as Syngap-1, which causes, amongst other things, severe epilepsy, physical disability, intellectual disability, global developmental delay, amongst a whole host of other issues. And as of right now, now, there are currently only 1,000 Syngap-1 diagnoses worldwide, with about 400 of them being in the United States. Which, for it being the tough reality that we see our son suffer every single day that he wakes up, we also happen to live in a very promising time of scientific and genetic research that means that we could actually have the hope of potentially curing him. And last year's Cannonball for the Cure charity stream raised over $150,000 that's going towards developing a cure by using proprietary technology that is only very recently possible. And so because of the success of last year and because that research has led to the need for further research, we are back with Cannonball for the Cure year two. We're gonna be going again on October 21st. We're gonna be driving from New York City to LA to actually raise money to cure my son. And I hope at some point I will no longer need to do charity events to cure my son and we can move on to other things. But until that happens, happens, we're going to be back every single year. And we've got a lot planned for this year in order to make it a success. Our son, unfortunately, has a very severe genetic disorder, but I cannot tell you the amount of hope that I have, not just because of technological advancements that are happening, where we now live in a day and age where that can actually be potentially treated and cured, but also the hope that our tech community has given me, because we've seen time and time again, tech YouTubers, as well as their audience, have rallied around us in order to actually fund the research that's necessary to pull this off. And so we are excited to announce on October 21st, we're doing it again. We have some amazing flagship sponsors in LTTstore.com, as well as Intel, who are actually being the key sponsors of this year, as well as partnering again with Syngap Research Fund, as well as Rarebase in order to bring you the event. So this year, it will be me along with the two other dads who joined us last year, Kevin and Peter, as well as the latest addition to the UFD tech team, Kyler, going to be going on the drive from New York City to LA. But we're going to have a ton of fun doing it. There's going to be donation incentives and donation goals. Like last year, because we hit $150,000, I had to get LTTstore.com tattooed onto my butt. And we'll probably be coming up with something similar to incentivize you guys to donate. But in that vein, we actually have a ton of of giveaways that we're gonna be doing this year in order to help celebrate the fact that you guys actually do come together and support the rare disease research that we need to. Just to name off the few things that we have confirmed right now, we're giving away my PlayStation 5 that I've used in all of my PS5 experiments. We're giving away a 3090 Ti, an i9-12900KS, an RX 6950 XT, a full PC, that one right there with a Ryzen 5 7600X and an RX 6650 XT, as well as an ASRock gaming monitor, a BenQ gaming projector, an LTTstore.com sponsored PC with all of the parts right here worth about $1,500. Add on to that, we're giving away an RTX 4090, another full PC with a Ryzen 7 7700X, as well as a GTX 1080 gaming PC. There might be more giveaways happening, but those are what's confirmed at the moment. Also, we just got confirmation that NZXT is gonna be giving away a really high-end setup, Ryzen 9 7900X plus an RTX 4090 in a complete system, 32 gigs of RAM. It's gonna be the whole shebang, plus you add in, they're throwing in a Canvas 27Q monitor, as well as their lift mount, and a mini TKL keyboard. NZXT actually came through last second with the big hookup, as well as Crucial reaching out and saying that they have about $2,000 in storage to give away, whether that's four terabyte NVMe drives or two terabyte NVMe drives or a couple external ones. We we, we've got a big year this year. I think we're at over 20 grand in prizes this year. It's it's gonna be good. Additionally, for people who meet us on the road, we have 30 LTTstore.com screwdrivers that we're actually gonna be giving away on the trip, as well as that sponsored PC will be given away during the actual event. We will physically hand it over to one of the winners. More details will come on how that happens, so actually tune in to the charity stream on October 21st. We would not be able to pull off all of these giveaways as well as the event without all of our amazing partners for Cannonball for the Cure. And 
so when you watch the event, please click on the links for the companies that sponsored them. We don't have a full list just yet because we're still closing that out, but we do really appreciate everybody who helps make it possible. And in case you want to support the event directly, especially since the production costs on it are so high, you can pick up an official Cannonball for the Cure merch down at the link in the video description. We've got several different designs this year and Reese did a great job designing all of it. So we've got tons of giveaways. We're going to have tons of fun. We're driving live, live streaming the entire thing from New York City to LA starting October 21st at 9 a.m. And all you'll need to do to enter into the giveaway is either just come watch us, come be with us. There's no purchase necessary, but in case you want to donate, every $5 gets you a ticket into the giveaways that are actually happening. So either support us by being with us or support us by donating to Syngap Research Fund through the official links. Either way, we really appreciate it. I'm excited for this year and I expect that we are actually going to have a day where I'm going to be able to say, we don't need to raise money for Syngap anymore because my son is cured. Thank you for helping me believe that.